Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I want to do a live demonstration of Leonardo Alchemy. Now, if you haven't seen my first video on Leonardo Alchemy, I'll go ahead and leave the link in the description so you guys could go ahead and take a look at it. It was my first time really experiencing it live on camera. But this time I wanted to, after creating a lot of generations with it and testing maybe about eight uh, maybe like 7,000 credits worth of uh, credits on Leonardo AI uh, using Alchemy. I want to go ahead and talk about the things that I'm discovering here. And I think I created a good prompt here that kind of reflects exactly what I'm trying to show. So if you're listening to this and you want to learn about Leonardo Alchemy and kind of get a first-hand view and understanding of what it can do for your generations, for your image generations, this is going to be the video for you. So let's go ahead and get started. The first image is just simply a regular image created by the uh, Leonardo, Dif uh, Leonardo Diffusion uh, model using the a lure discrete scheduler and it was regular stable diffusion version 1 at 0.5 okay and here are the generations the the prompt is simple uh t-shirt design of a, of a christian cross uh paint splatter panorama remembrance style high quality uhd luminous studio graphics engine rainbow pastel color black background very simple nothing crazy okay and um the size is 640 by 832. I'm trying to see if there's any more details we need. There was no negative prompt. That's pretty much how the image was. The next thing we did here was we decided to boost this up a bit by engaging in prompt magic. So if you're familiar with prompt magic, it is a setting here. Uh, when you turn alchemy off, you have prompt magic version 2, which created these images, which is clearly a step up and definitely takes more consideration for the weight of the words in the prompt. So one of the, this is a perfect example of this image here, gives me more of an ideology that they're using the word luminous a little bit more for this uh, design here. I just see it more, you know, uh, even if I upscale this, it will look more luminous indeed, especially if you compare this design to both of these designs. The word luminous was never changed. In fact, all of these designs, the prompts are the same. Um, however, words get essentially uh, evaluated differently. So this is the design and you can see it's indeed it's more bright. It looks like it almost has stars in it. Um, and yeah, it's more luminous. And that was one of the design uh, words that really were, I guess you could say, quintessential to the design. That re they're really pivots. It pivots the the nature of the design. Then what we did was we turned off prompt magic completely, and we turned on alchemy. Now with alchemy, the default I, for some reason it always does this on my end, where I'm pretty sure it's going to be the same for everybody, where it defaults where the width. It's, it's, its width is increased and the height is decreased. So it's going to be a horizontal design. And of course, I didn't want that for this style. I didn't think it made sense. So I shifted, obviously, to a height of 768 and a width of 512. And you could actually see that here. And the setting on Alchemy, which is a, is a general setting. A lot of people didn't pick this up right away, um, but you can actually switch the setting, which I'll show in a minute. I just don't want to scroll up immediately uh, because it will kind of reflect what it is. But essentially, the way it was was the contrast boost um, was at a half, and the resonance was turned all the way up. And this was how the design looked. Um, not really what I'm looking for. This probably looks a little bit more of what I'm looking for. This design, not really what I'm looking for. Uh, it's unique. It's cool, but not really what I'm looking for. But overall, the design does look a little more lifelike. Like if I looked at this, this does, especially with the word paint splatter in the prompt, this does look more like paint splatter, like a real life version of it. So then what I did was I kind of turned resonance a little bit down and what happened was is here the image kind of shows once again uh, an image that's more lifelike um, but th there are certain words that are taken into account more than others and this is what I tend to find the prompt starts off with the word t-shirt design or shirt design so it makes sense that this does that this image here has an image of like a mock-up of a shirt or a hoodie a short sleeve hoodie right it kind of makes sense um, but that's not what I was looking for. So then I was forced to add the word shirt in the negative prompt. Okay, so that's the kind of the change that I made next. 
And then after that, what I decided to do was I decided to turn both of these settings up for the next photo. And the next photos, which I actually created two of them, were right here. You could see them. They look much, much more lifelike and very, um, I don't want to use the word descriptive, but they're very uh, detailed. These images are very, very detailed, which does correlate with the very first video that we did. Like I said, link will be in the description. If you guys didn't see that video, some of you guys may have, um, there was an, a video that I created, like I said, testing alchemy for the first time, and we had this eyeball, uh, this Egyptian eye style prompt, and the eyeballs in the, and I'm talking about like a literal eyeball, um, it looked literally lifelike. I mean, there's no other way to say it. Um, it looked lifelike. And these look a lot more lifelike to me, especially this one here, than some of the other generations. Some of the other generations look like illustrations. But something I did do here was I switched the general to the illustration type. And if you're not sure how to do that, it's very simple. It's right next to the model here. You have different kinds of designs. So you have anime, creative, environment, general, illustration, photography, ray trace, 3D render, sketch uh, BW, black, which means black and white, uh, sketch color, and none. And since we shifted it from general to illustration, it does show the nature or the difference between the alchemy of general alchemy and illustration alchemy. And it does show that this is a little more like an illustration, even though it does seem more lifelike. Um, it's it's more of an illustration than, for example, this design is. It's very, very cool overall. Um, I wouldn't say that I would always use Alchemy for all of my designs. It's cool. It's definitely a cool feature to have, but I wouldn't use it for all of my designs. If I had a way to describe Alchemy in the simplest form, I would probably say it's double the effect of prompt magic. If that's what I was, if that's the best way to characterize things, what I've noticed with prompt magic is prompt magic creates designs that simply just seem more lifelike to me, regardless of the prompt. And it does weigh in on the prompt words in the prompt, the keywords. It kind of makes it, it takes more into account. And it really, really embraces certain keywords and gives it a lot more weight in a specific art. Hence, once again, the, um, the hoodie kind of concept or luminous is a, is a better example. And it does that. It, it takes certain words, develops on them a little bit more, and the art composition itself seems more lifelike. With that being said, anybody who's a member of Fantasy Labs, all these designs, whether being used alchemy or non-alchemy or prompt magic or all those things, will be in the fa uh, Fantasy Labs membership. That's a little FYI for you guys. Everything that I test, everything that I create, um, I think we have over 1,400 designs and assets easily within Fantasy Labs. In fact, our last month, which was the second month of Fantasy Labs, was by far the biggest drop we've ever had. And there's only been two months of drops so far, but it's been pretty cool. And so if you guys want to see this in Fantasy Labs, you just have to subscribe. It's going to be all there, uh, especially with the next drop. So um, this is a video uh, to accurately show and reflect what alchemy is like using Leonardo AI. Are you going to use alchemy for your print-on-demand stuff? For you guys who are watching and you are you familiar, you're only familiar with Leonardo, but you're not familiar with print on demand. Guys, we're a YouTube channel. We show you how to make money using designs like these. We show you how to take the designs, edit them, slap them on a T-shirt, whether it be for your own website, whether it be on a platform, and uh, show you how to make money using it. And you can watch all of our other videos. In fact, this channel alone, I think we're coming up on a thousand videos that are public on this YouTube channel alone. So um, if you want to watch those videos, go ahead and check out the channel. Welcome to the channel. And um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.